Hey guys, let's get more news from Steelers, but first don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave your like. Steelers trade proposal for Cortland Sutton? If you're a Steelers fan, and a fan of symmetry, you'll love this idea of Cortland Sutton, the offseason's high-profile free agent offensive signing, heating up in week 5. Why? We've already completed a month of the season and this hasn't happened yet. He is a special player and his big day is coming. Maybe this week. Excellent. Or, maybe if the Steelers re-evaluate their offense after this weekend and realize they're short on weapons they'll examine other ideas. The phone rang often at Denver Broncos HQ during the offseason. With the NFL trade deadline approaching on October 31st, the Broncos are making it known that their two veteran wide receivers are not for sale, according to the Athletics' Diana Rossini. For now, I'm told the Broncos are not looking to move any offensive players. This is despite receivers Jerry Judy and Cortland Sutton drawing trade interest in the offseason. This is more evidence that the Broncos' organizational thought process is still focused on making a go of the 2023 season. Sean Payton isn't trying to tank, for now. The Broncos entered Week 5's tilt with the New York Jets at 1-3, and unless Payton can find a way to get his crew into shipshape over the next quarter of the season, the thinking might change by the trade deadline. The Steelers are interested in hiring Cortland Sutton. Entering Week 5, Sutton had 20 receptions for 216 yards and a co-team high three touchdowns. His stats would look even nicer were it not for a couple of bad fumbles in Week 4, a dropped touchdown in Week 3, and some untimely team penalties that have wiped Sutton's scores off the scoreboard. Meanwhile, Judy's 2023 campaign has gotten off to a slower start. He missed the season opener and entered Week 5 with 11 receptions for 158 yards. Judy hasn't found the end zone since last December. Tim Patrick's season-ending injury in training camp left the Broncos' wide receiver core shorthanded. But rookie Marvin Mims Jr.'s impressive debut has offset the Patrick loss somewhat. As the number four receiver, Brandon Johnson has made some big plays for the Broncos, catching three touchdowns so far to tie Sutton for the team lead. However, Johnson has also had a few very costly penalties. And you fan, what do you think of the Cortland Sutton situation? Leave your opinion in the comments.